Welcome back, I'm Steve Bannister with CW Hayden, and today I want to review with you the variety of adhesives from epoxies and methacrylates that we carry here at CW Hayden, and uh, describe to you how important it is that we understand your application so we can help you select the correct adhesive to get the job done. So we have a variety of epoxies from 3M. They have a variety of open time, set time, and degrees of hardness. And uh, it's all driven by substrates. And you can have similar substrates and dissimilar substrates. For instance, if you're bonding wood to wood, metal to metal, fiberglass to fiberglass, or wood to fiberglass being a dissimilar substrates. So we're very keen on asking for what your application is and what the substrates are so we can again get to the right adhesive as quickly as possible. Here we have uh, the dispensing system that we're going to use today is a 3M EPX system. It's a very common packaging of various adhesives. They come in a different ratio systems for uh, this is a, a one to one ratio meaning uh, you will receive through this metering nozzle both equal parts of part A and part B. They have a two to one so you'll receive half as much of, of one as the other, so you'll get 100% of part A and 50% of part B to make your bond. And we also have a 10 to 1 ratio, uh, and this is a uh, acrylic, low odor, structural bond, uh, a newer product in 3M. They do require different metering nozzles for, for the various adhesives that you're using, and uh, you just want to make sure that you have the right mix ratio metering nozzle for the adhesive that you're using, and we would help you define that as well. This applicator will receive the various mix ratio products. They go in very easily. Slide into your applicator, like so. We also have different plungers that will push the adhesive through the metering nozzle. We'll load that in first because you will switch up your plungers based if you have based on the fact of uh, you have a one to one, two to one, or ten to one ratio products. Let's slide this in. There's a small lever on the back. Let's just slide that right in. And take your adhesive, mount it into the dispenser. 3M has devised this system. Have these uh, assembled in only one way. There's a small notch cut on the top of the cartridge and a corresponding notch on the nozzle right here. You'll align the two, turn it into place so it locks, and you are ready to go. When you squeeze the trigger, it'll push the plunger forward, pushing the adhesive through the metering nozzles. There's a number of flutes inside this. What we're going to do here is to show you the variety of set times that you have and also uh, the various hardnesses of the adhesive. So simply what we'll do is I'm going to fill all these straws with the various adhesives that we have here and once they're all cured and set, we'll cut the straws away and show you how vastly different these adhesives can be. Line up your the notch, slide the nozzle on, turn it to one quarter turn to lock it in place, lock in your cartridge, in this, for instance, we're going to fill this straw, and as I squeeze the trigger, you'll see the adhesive dispense through the metering nozzle. Okay, now we're through with the 1 to 1 and 2 to 1 ratio mix products, and we're moving on to the 10 to 1 ratio product from 3M, the 8725. I have the, the metering nozzle goes on the exact same way as the other 3M products and um, the openings are completely different than what we've had before. So we're going to remove this plunger and put the 10 to 1 ratio plunger in its place. Insert the cartridge, it will only go in, you have to make sure you made it the right way. Clamp it in place and we are ready to go. We'll fill our last straw. And what we're going to do, once these all have a chance to kick off and solidify, we're going to cut away these straws 
and we will show you the various flexibilities and rigidity of the, uh, of the various epoxies that we have here, and there are many others as well. Enough time has passed where all the adhesives have solidified in the straws. So we're gonna cut the straw away and we're going to go, eat, go through each adhesive to uh, show the different flexibilities you get from rigid to very flexible. Uh, and again, depending on what your substrates are, we will hopefully get to you the appropriate adhesive. All right, and here we have our most rigid product um, for rigid bonds. If not quite like glass, but it is very rigid, DP100. And this is the DP100 Plus, which is the exact opposite of the scale, extremely flexible. Actually, can tie this to a pretzel. This is the DP125 Gray, extremely flexible. You have the strength of the epoxy. Next, we have DP420 Plus. Again, this is medium flexible, not rigid, not super flexible but still flexible enough where you can manipulate it very readily. Moving on, DP604NS Black. These particular products are used a lot for, uh, in the gray version, 601. You can fill concrete cracks. Um, it bonds very quickly. Here is the non-3M product from Parsons Adhesives. It's the Partite 7300 Methacrylate. Uh, very much a uh, structural bond here. Very semi-rigid, if not rigid, and uh, high capacity for durability. And last is the DP from 3M, DP8725. Low odor acrylic product. This would be a semi-flexible. <clears throat> so you have a variety of colors, flexibilities, and bond strength, all again dependent on your application and your substrates. Um, please call us here at CW Hayden and uh, we can do our best to help find the right product for you.